Welcome to another episode of Got To. Today we are at Mega here in Woodlands. For what, Isaac? Okay, today we got you with a smart digital door lock comparison and we are at Cardas to check out their K20 Pro Max smart digital lock. Let's check it out. Here. <laughs> So at Kadas, they have their own factory and three R&D centers where they research and manufacture their own door locks. So this is the K20 Pro and the K20 Pro Max. It comes in both uh, grey and copper. Okay, the difference between the K20 Pro and the K20 Pro Max is that the Pro Max has facial recognition access feature while the K20 Pro does not. This K20 Pro Max has a lot of ways to access, right? So let's start off with the facial recognition. So this sensor here is a 3D facial recognition feature. So this facial recognition door lock, right, it has this 3D structured light technology that can actually enable the lock to reach millimeter level of accuracy. So we won't be affected by makeup, facial expression, etc. etc. And then if you use a photo or video to try to unlock the door, it's also not possible. Right, and then uh, for your family, it can detect a height of uh, your children 1.3 meters to up to 2 meters height and then recording a whole family if you have 50 faces to record. So once it's able to detect your face, it's able to unlock the door at just 1.6 seconds. Here you got a fingerprint to access the standard uh, pin where you can just key in. Of course, it comes with the RFID tag where you just tap to access. And here, you have the infrared and the motion sensor. So in that way, even when you come home at night, you can still detect your face. Okay, so for this smart door lock, they have a doorbell function. See once someone has pressed the doorbell, and then you can do a live interaction. So let's talk to Isaac now. Hello, Isaac. Can you wave at us? Can you wave at us? Yeah. One more feature they have is that if there's anyone lurking outside of your uh, door, this door lock will automatically detect them and send you a recorded video of them through the app as well. So if you have multiple door locks in your family all around Singapore, you can actually add all the different door locks here. And then the next cool feature of this is that you can also set this uh, security if someone is staying outside your door. You can set based on uh, video uh, distance detection. So you can set between far, 3 meters, medium, 2 meters, near, 1 meter. And then for the staying time, it will stay for 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, or 60 seconds before you start to alert. We also have this temporary password that you can send a one-time password this one-time password will actually expire after 30 minutes, generates for you, and you can straight away send this password to um, that person. You can also give a period password, which is set based on uh, how long maybe a maid that comes to you, a cleaner comes to you every Monday to clean up your place. So you can actually start time, end time every Monday. You can set it here. And lastly, you have the timeliness password which then you can set for longer term generation. And right behind here, there's a very cool 4-inch Full HD 1080p screen to able to detect what you see in front, right? And here you can unlock with the open or close button or this dial here. And the cool part is that you can just like this and you can open the door. Wow, hey, that's pretty cool. Uh. So hey, what about the battery life for this door lock? So the battery is actually found here first and it, I like this because it's totally removable for you to charge using a USB-C. This is a high capacity lithium battery that can easily last you six months, right? And charging is easy, la. just a USB-C port, right? And if let's say you're worried you forgot to charge this... Okay. <laughs> Bruh! So if you are worried about the battery running out, not to worry, it will actually send you a notification prompt once it's running low. Now, if let's say you totally are ignorant of that, not to worry again, 
uh, in front here, there's a USB-C emergency charging port for you to plug in your portable battery to charge it up. And last but not least, you also have the manual emergency key. This is recommended for you to put outside your house, maybe at your parents' place or someone else's place outside, so that whenever all things fails, you have the manual key, which is, can be inserted from below. So if you're interested in getting one of these, it actually comes with free delivery, free installation, and two years warranty. If that's not enough, there's additional one more year which you can purchase. Check out their website at kalasg.com for more information and to book appointment to check out their showroom. Thank you for watching this episode of Gochu. See you on the next episode. Ciao! Bye!